Hey everyone, today I'll be going on a few roller coasters I think could be my number one. In case you don't know, my current favorite roller coaster is Maverick with Wicked Cyclone, Sky Rush Voyage, and Millennium Force as the runner ups. I'm gonna try and stick to coasters I know I'll be riding this year or the next, but I might stray off to some other coasters I have no idea when I'll get to. To kick it off, I have DC Rivals Hyper Coaster, and I'm really hoping to get to this in the soon future. It looks amazing as heck. Between the drop, airtime hills, and long length, this could easily be my number one for sure. Next up we have Wildfire in Sweden. This coaster, just by looking at it, beats Maverick. I'm not sure if I'll get to this in the next few years, but you never know. The drop looks like one of the best, the inversions provide some insane hang time, and the terrain work is something the beast is at a loss over. The next coaster I'll be hitting in less than two months, and that is Steel Vengeance. I do think this is becoming a slightly overhyped, but at the same time it's going to be a godly roller coaster. The drop looks insane, and the airtime seems to be unbeatable. The next coaster is another one I'll be riding this year, and it is Twisted Timbers. Cannot wait to ride this. It's being super overshadowed by Steel Vengeance, but in my opinion, holds strong on its own and might even be better. I'll just have to wait and see. Not to one-up it, but literally one-upping it is interpreted to 305 at the same park. This is my most anticipated fully steel coaster for 2018. The bank turns look amazing and the drop looks unbeatable. Down in Sweden, and roller a roller coaster named Helix looks to be awesome. Between the three, what look to be forceful launches, terrain work, and that makes the beast a kitty coaster, and inversions, Helix could easily one up Maverick in my placement. The next coaster is one I'll have no idea when I'll get to, but it's high on my bucket list. It is Lech Coaster at Legendia. Ever since I saw this coaster placing number two on a, a top ten list, I've wanted to ride it. The drop looks amazing, and the inversions look super intense. I've only been on one intimate prefabricated roller coaster, and it was, and I was heavily disappointed by this. I'm referring to Altoro, but I'm willing to give T Express in North Korea a shot. The drop and airtime look good, but I was hesitant to place it on this list just because I wasn't a diehard fan of Altoro. I think it still could be my number one though. A coaster that I'll be riding in May and that a ton of people rank numero uno is Fury 325 at Carowinds. I'm trying my best not to overhype myself, but man, does this look awesome. The drop and unique elements look very fun and intense, plus it is a very long ride. Next up is a coaster I'm worried I won't get to in a while in Valencia, California. It's Twisted Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mountain. I really want to ride this coaster. It doesn't look very intense, but believe it or not, it's number two on my bucket list and could easily be number one. The drop looks awesome, and I love racing coasters. Combine a great manufacturer and a great concept, and you have Twisted Colossus. A coaster I'll probably get to this year could be my number one, and I cannot wait to get on it. It is the one and only Expedition G-Force. This looks a lot like Skyrush, only with a different drop and was, pres and was prescribed steroids. It looks awesome, but between its somewhat impressive stats and awesome layout. Another coaster in Germany I'll be riding is Tehran, and I cannot wait to ride this. It looks so intense, and in my opinion, the best theming on any true roller coaster. One roller coaster I think could top my list would be Lightning Rod, between its ejector, airtime, wave turn, and unique launch. Uh, plus, that quadruple down looks awesome. To wrap up this list, I'm going to finish off with a coaster I cannot wait to ride this summer in Japan called Dodopona. It looks so fun, has the strongest launch of all time, and is super fast. It could definitely be my favorite, and without a doubt, top 5. Thanks for watching. I left out a couple coasters due to time constraints because I wanted to stick to coasters that I will be riding in the near future. Of course, some of the coasters I won't be riding anytime soon, like T-Express and Wildfire, but one day. My name is Coaster Cupcake, and I'll catch you all next time, guys. Bye.